As a parent, you want to give the best for your kid without spoiling them, and that's why getting an entry-level smartphone seems like a great idea to get them started. The thing is though, with a whole world of budget smartphones nowadays, it can be hard to pick out the best value of the pack. That's why we've gathered a list of entry-level smartphones under 7,000 pesos that are suitable for kids. Just note that these won't be the fastest or most premium, but will have adequate specs for a smooth experience for kids when doing schoolwork or playing some games. So let's get started. Starting with the Oppo A17K, packing the MediaTek Helio G35 processor. It isn't the most powerful chipset out there so don't expect any heavy gaming but it should be perfectly good for medium workloads. It also carries a 6.56 inch HD plus display with a resolution of 1612 by 720 which like the processor isn't the best out there but is decent for normal use cases. With 64 gigs of storage, it should be enough to store a good amount of games or media as well. But with only 3 gigs of RAM, just make sure you don't have any other programs running in the background too much. You do get a dual rear camera setup with a 50 megapixel main and 2 megapixel depth sensor, while having a 5 megapixel upslot. One thing to note is that the Oppo A17K does come with a substantial 5000 milliamp battery but supports only micro USB charging. We really wish it could have been USB C, but then again, you get a fingerprint scanner, an audio jack, and 12 and even IPX4 water resistance. So that's neat. The Oppo A17K is priced at 5,999 pesos. Next up, we got the Realme C30 and C33, both carrying the same chipset with the Unisoc Tiger T612, which is a slight step up over the Helio G35. Both also carry a 6.5 inch HD plus 720x1600 display and even a 120Hz touch sampling rate for faster responses when gaming. The main difference between the two is simply the camera setup in the C33 being better than the C30. So if that's important to you, you might want to consider the C33 since the C30 only has a single 8 megapixel camera at the back and a 5 megapixel up front. The C33 on the other hand has a 50 megapixel main and a depth sensor while also having a 5 megapixel front camera. One other thing to note is that we still get micro USB charging on both of them. Bummer. We still do get a 5000 mAh battery, Android 12, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. For just 5499 pesos, you can find the Realme C30 in a 2GB plus 32GB spec. But we highly suggest you step up to the 4GB plus 64GB model of the C30 at 5999 pesos to give you more space for all your files and photos and also an extra gig of RAM when running multiple apps. The Realme C33 on the other hand actually retails for a little over 7k but you can regularly find it on sale at just below it. As of writing, we found that you can grab the Realme C33 for just 6,999 pesos. Next, we got two other phones, this time from Noizo with the Noizo 50i Prime and the Noizo 50a Prime. Like the Realmes, you still get the same Unisoc Tiger T612 chipset but now only running a less updated Android 11 OS. An advantage of the Noizo 50a Prime over the 50i Prime is a much improved 6.6 inch full HD plus display compared to only a 6.5 inch HD plus display found on the 50i Prime. Like the Realmes also, the Noizo 50i Prime only sees an 8 megapixel back camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. The Noizo 50a Prime though sees a much better camera setup with triple cameras at the back with a 50 megapixel main, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor, while also having an improved 8 megapixel front selfie camera. Another advantage of the Noizo 50a Prime is that it finally comes with 18 watts USB-C charging, while the 50i Prime still sticks with the lowly 10 watts micro USB charging. The Noizo 50i Prime can be had at a much lower price though at just 4,999 pesos retail for its 3GB plus 32GB spec. The Noizo 50a Prime on the other hand gets a much better spec with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of built-in storage, which is more than enough storage for most people. The Noizo 50a Prime standard retail price is just a little over 7K as well, but as of writing it can be had for 6,699 pesos and with upgraded specs, a better display and a better camera setup, it may be worth the extra cash if you can spare some change. Now this one may be stretching the budget of 7k a little bit, but the Cherry Mobile Aqua S10 Pro 5G carries some of the most impressive specs for a budget smartphone. Firstly, it has a large 
6.78 inch Full HD Plus display, a MediaTek Dimensity 700 chipset which blows any entry level chipset out of the water. You even get a quad rear camera setup headlined by a 48 megapixel main and a couple of depth and macro sensors while up front we see a pretty nice 16 megapixel selfie camera. Then you also get 5G connectivity. This means that if you find yourself playing games on data a lot, you'll be able to get faster connection speeds and practically future proof the device. You also get 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. The 5000 mAh battery is also capable of 18 watts USB-C fast charging and even has wireless charging up to 10 watts. Pretty crazy. For just 7,999 pesos, it may just be a little over budget, but we definitely think it's worth it. Last on the list is Xiaomi's Redmi 10C. Like most phones on this price bracket, you see a 6.71 inch HD Plus display with a resolution of 1650 by 720. However, if you're giving this to your child, then you'll be glad to know that it's protected by Coining Gorilla Glass so that it's less prone to damage. What's more is that this is the only phone on this list to carry a Qualcomm processor with the Snapdragon 680, so you'll be sure to have enough power for most titles nowadays. Other features include a 50 megapixel dual camera setup at the back and a 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt fast charging via USB C. As of this video, the 4 gig plus 64 gig spec is priced at just 5,999 pesos, while bumping its storage up to 128 gigabytes will actually only set you back a little at 6,599 pesos. Now, if you can catch the latter spec for that price, we'd say it may very well be worth every penny. And so that wraps up this list, and we hope this list helps you. If you're looking for a new smartphone to give to your kid without breaking the bank, no compromising on performance and user experience. And since it's the holiday season, be sure to look out on some deals. And be sure to also check out yugatech.com and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter to stay up to date on all the best tech news and reviews here in the Philippines. This has been VJF Yugatech. Thanks for watching.